Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Florida Chamber's Bottom Line. I'm David Hart, Executive Vice President at the Florida Chamber, and our special guest today is Chairman of the State Affairs Committee in the Florida House, Representative Matt Caldwell. Representative, thank you for joining us today. Glad to be here, Dave. Chairman, you have uh, distinguished yourself as a leader in the past several years on the need for local pension reform. And we've worked together on that issue. It's, it's uh, a priority that the Florida Chamber shares, that it's important that we stabilize and make these local pension uh, systems sustainable for the long term. I wonder if you could give us some prospects of what you think the chances are of getting something meaningful done this session. Uh, I absolutely think the House and the Senate are committed to getting something accomplished on this issue this year. This is an acute problem in my neck of the woods. Fort Myers and Naples both struggle with meeting their long-term liabilities for their municipal pensions. Uh, I think the thing to really focus on for your viewers is uh, the way these are funded. Uh, it comes out of taxes on our insurance premiums, so everyone in the state pays for uh, these municipal pension liabilities and uh, the, the discussion, the, the debate uh, in the legislatures about uh, how those monies are allocated. Chairman, if you were to look across uh, the whole system of all the local pension funds in the state of Florida, they're roughly 70% funded, 30% unfunded, uh, totaling about a $10 billion unfunded liability. Um, what I notice when I watch this discussion and debate year after year in the legislature is it often looks like a battle between local government and the unions. And the group that often gets forgotten about and left out of the discussion is the group paying for it, which is the taxpayers. And I know you share our view that we need to make these uh, local pensions sustainable for the long term, but do it in a way that doesn't place additional burdens on the taxpayer. Any comment relative to that part of the debate? Absolutely. I think you'll see uh, our goal between the House and the Senate at the 10,000 foot level is to gain greater flexibility in how those, those premium tax dollars are allocated and how they're able to be used uh, to pay for base benefits. There's uh, over the years been a buildup of commitments for uh, extra benefits uh, that are frankly very expensive and, and unsustainable long term and uh, we need to be able to allow the, the cities and the unions to negotiate uh, to a more realistic scenario. Let me ask you a little bit about the state level uh, pension reform needs. Uh, that's the Florida retirement system. Uh, we have worked for five years now to try to reform that system and make it sustainable for the long haul not just for the taxpayers, but also for those who are in the system and rely on that retirement at some point. Um, you know, it, it's got an unfunded liability north of $20 billion right now. Uh, some people argue that it's one of the best funded uh, programs in the country. And while that's true, it's still 15% unfunded. Uh, we also know that each year, uh, because of that unfunded liability, the legislature, in trying to pay that off, is having to use taxpayers' dollars and put an additional roughly $500 million a year to um, erase that unfunded liability. My concern is that those are dollars that could be used for many other important state priorities, whether that's infrastructure funding, paying our teachers more, health care for seniors. What are the prospects for FRS reform this year? Well, you're, you're spot on. These, uh, this $500 million a year uh, is money that we could be spending on other big priorities, education, uh, health care, both of which consume a great deal of our attention each year. Uh, we we uh, in the House are definitely committed uh, to FRS reform. It's been a little more difficult to uh, go in the Senate, uh, but, but we're still committed to uh, going after this issue. When you read about uh, the scenarios where, where pensions uh, go bankrupt and uh, the, the pensioners themselves, the terrible stories of folks that relied on that retirement and then have nothing, uh, it's, it, it's, it's a commitment not only for the taxpayer, but for those people who are banking on that for their retirement, they need to be sure that they're going to have something that's solid and existent when they're ready to retire. Chairman, those two uh, pension reform concepts will originate in your State Affairs Committee, so we thank you for your leadership on pension reform and we look forward to working with you. And to our members, thank you for joining us on another edition of the Florida Chamber's Bottom Line. <laughs>